The beauty of kendo is that it is for everyone. It doesn't matter if you're fat, skinny, tall, short. What matters the most is how hard you try and how much work you put into it. That's what's going to allow you to become strong in kendo. My name is Julian Williams. I am a member of the United States National Kendo Team, and I'm a brand ambassador for Pokari Sweat. Team USA means everything to me. They are the reason I am where I am today. We've trained together, laughed together, cried together, and, and gone through everything. So it's a very strong bond, and they're, they're literally my family. We're not just a team that meets every now and then. We connect, we're constantly talking. And that kind of family brotherhood doesn't go away even after you may have moved on from the team. So it's probably the closest people that I have in my life. My name is Jason Brown, part of the US National Kendo team and also brand ambassador of Pokari Sweat. One summer I was training and it was probably one of the hottest summers I've experienced. I was not well hydrated, so after the training I actually suffered from dehydration and I cramped basically all over my body and I had the chills and it was very painful. So um, yeah, from then on I just had to be sure to stay hydrated. A lot of sports drinks tend to be very sugary and kind of leaves a weird taste in your mouth and it's almost not as refreshing. The taste, at least with Pokari Sweat, it doesn't have that feeling so it makes you actually, it tastes good but also it actually helps you feel hydrated. We train so much, I feel like I always need to be hydrated. So I love Bakari Sweat. It's not too sweet and it keeps me hydrated and allows me to rehydrate after practice. It's one of my favorite drinks. I sweat so much during practice. It's ridiculous. When I change back into my regular clothes, my keikogi and mahakama are drenched and they're about two pounds heavier than before I put it on. So we sweat a lot. <laughs> <laughs> My advice for younger athletes is whatever your goal may be, always continue working for it. Every little effort matters in the end, so just keep working hard and not giving up. Listen to your coaches. The ones that are really hard on you are the ones that tend to care the most. And the most important thing about kendo is to continue to surpass your limits on what you think you can do.